You know that feeling, right? You get all excited, you buy a brand new, smart camera, you get it all set up, and then you find out its best feature, the whole AI person detection thing, is locked behind a monthly paywall. It's just so frustrating. And this just hits the nail on the head, doesn't it? You already bought the hardware, the power, the little computer inside, it's sitting right there in your house. So why in the world should you have to pay rent every single month for the smarts that should have been included from the start? It's a trap, a total trap. But you know what? Today, that ends. I'm going to walk you through how to build your very own completely local AI security system that's not just free, but way, way more powerful than any of those paid services. I mean, just look at this side by side. It's almost a no-brainer. On one hand, you've got these never-ending monthly fees, your private video footage is sitting on some company's cloud server somewhere, and you're stuck with whatever features they decide to give you. On the other side, zero cost, 100% local and private, and the power to customize, well, it's pretty much limitless. So what's the magic trick here? How do we pull this off? Well, we give our security system its very own brain, a powerful, local, AI brain, and its name is Frigate. So what is Frigate exactly? Well, think of it as a video recorder for your security cameras, but with a massive upgrade. It has real-time AI object detection baked right in. And the best part, the most important part, it runs entirely on your own hardware in your own home. Your data stays your data. Okay, hold on, you're probably thinking, this sounds super technical, but I promise you, it's not. We're gonna break the whole initial setup down into just three really clear, really doable steps. Let's do this. The whole setup really just boils down to these three things. First, we'll get Frigate itself running, using something called Docker, which just makes it super easy. Second, we set up a messenger, an MQTT server, which is basically a post office that lets Frigate talk to all your other smart devices. And third, you just need to find your camera's unique video address. It's called an RTSP URL. Once you have those three things, the foundation is set. All right, so all the main components are installed. Now for the fun part. We get to tell our new AI brain what to actually do. And we do it all by editing one simple little text file. This is where we lay down the rules. So inside this config file, you'll first tell Frigate where to find that messenger we just set up. Easy. Then you set the ground rules. Do you want to record clips, take snapshots? How many days of footage do you want to keep? After that, you introduce it to your camera. Just give the camera a name and paste in that address you found. And finally, you give it a job. Do you want it to just record, or do you want it to actually detect things with its AI brain? Okay, and listen up, because this next part is super, super important. It's a tip that will save you so much headache. Every single time you make a change to that config file, you have to restart Frigate. It's a simple step, but trust me, it's the one everyone forgets at first. All right, before we go any further, let's do a quick little victory check. Just open up a web browser on your computer and type in the IP address of the machine running Frigate, then add a colon and the number 5000. If you see your live camera feed pop up, congratulations, the core system is officially working. Okay, here we go. The final piece of the puzzle that really unlocks all the magic. We're going to plug this whole thing into Home Assistant. Inside Home Assistant, you'll just install the Frigate integration. After a quick restart, you just go into your settings, add Frigate, and tell it where to find your server. That's it. You're done. And just like that, you did it. Seriously, this is more than just saving money on a subscription. You've completely changed the game for your home security. You've just unlocked a level of intelligence and power that those off-the-shelf systems can only dream of. Because that's the real point here, isn't it? The secret to getting out of the subscription trap isn't just about finding a cheaper service. It's about using amazing open source tools like this to actually own the technology yourself. So what does owning this brain actually get you? Well, for starters, it can see. And I mean, it can really see. Right out of the box, it can identify over 90, yes, 90 different kinds of objects. We're talking people, cars, dogs, packages. All of a sudden, your camera doesn't just see motion, it actually understands what it's seeing. But wait, it gets even better. This AI brain doesn't just have eyes, it has ears. Really, really good ears. Your new security system can now recognize 16 different super specific and really important sounds. And I'm not talking about it hearing a car drive by. We're talking about sounds that actually matter. It can trigger an alert based on a baby crying, a dog barking, the very distinct sound of glass breaking. It can even hear your existing smoke and carbon monoxide detectors and turn them into smart alarms. 
I'm talking about stuff that feels like it's straight out of a spy movie, but it's running in your house right now. Things like the ability to recognize specific faces that you teach it, the power to actually read and identify license plates. This is the kind of control you have now. So there you have it. You've taken back control. 